based on my ability to remember to do it. Because I watched whichever one was a week ago. If that that's when it was uploaded. It was uploaded a week ago, so I was thinking that was last week's. But no, that was me. Was that was me catching up on an episode that hadn't gotten uploaded. Uh, so we so are actually on episode time. eight. <laughs> I saw a little dog. That's all I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, something. A couple of real powerful things is what. Well, since Dan did not see the last episode, who wants to start us off with the uh, with the recap? I'll take it if no one wants it. I'm desperate for that. Don't you XP. need it? You're like 100 XP off? No, that's that's me, but oh, that's okay. why I'm not worried about it, because assuming I survive, I'll get 100 XP. <laughs> Make right. a lot of assumptions there, Tom. <laughs> All right, everybody, get them. All, All right, right, so we'll, we'll try and do a quick one, I guess, because I, if I forget anything, you guys are going to have to help me out. But so we started out um, in the Orc Village. Um, what's the name of it again? Kumoa. Kumoa. Um, oh, no, we didn't start out there. We started out in Runa's Village, which is Kazara. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yeah, so we came back there after dealing with the Orcs. Um, so we decided to kill some time because we were going to wait for the deal to happen. So, in general, Spinx spoke to some spooky spirits around the town. Jack was tailing some people, the mayor, and he learned of some, like, interesting location of a abandoned warehouse with people going in. And we want to know what's up with that. Um, my character, Arius, located a magic shop where I took some <laughs> amulet that's going to give me some hallucinations or some shit with some dragons. And, and uh, who ran that magic shop? Some spooky guy. Yeah, you'll be all right, probably. No, it's a, it's an important asterisk stat. It was Blacksmith Inc. Uh, it's a very illustrious Inc. company. Yes, and it boosted my power quite a bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, so what? Jack found out. Jack found out that uh, the mayor was doing some shady shit in this warehouse. So we came up with a plan to figure out what it was. Uh, he hid inside and learned about some word that they were saying to get into this special room. So we ended up beating up an old man to tell us uh, what the password was, and it was knowledge and draconic. And uh, we piece together a bunch of stuff. We go to the library, learn some stuff, and we end up getting in there, and Jack uh, loses one of his secrets on his way out. And that was, like, the cost of, like, getting in and out is you lose your secret, and he doesn't remember what it was either. So that might come back to bite him. Well, no, it, it did. I get, it got it back at the end. You got the memory back? I thought no, you No, you didn't get the memory you didn't get the back. back. You didn't get the memory back. The memory's gone. You just got rewarded for the memory. Yeah, he gave you money. And then um, I'm getting there, Jack. Calm down, Jack. <laughs> yeah, that guy came back and tried to steal more of your memory. Yeah, so it, it was like a continual effect. So we went to go talk to the court wizard. I don't remember his name. Uh, the wizard Taruna. Hey, hang on one sec. I didn't write down his name. Ira oh, oh, Eric Iraklis. Yeah. Iraklis. Yes. So Iraklis was a, clearly a very powerful wizard because he immediately identified that Jack was under some sort of continual spell probing his mind for more memories. And he was able to dispel it and destroy whatever link it had to Jack. But it didn't restore any memories or anything that I'm aware of. It, he just removed its like hold on him. Um, and yeah, he tells us that he was already uh, knowing about the mayor. He suspected it, and we kind of confirmed it. And then he tasked us with um, removing the mayor from power in whatever way we can. And then he blasted us out the room and said mm -hmm. GTFO, and then uh, we did. And that's where we ended. You guys were annoying the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ooh. Ooh, it looks like you're on a computer now. Oh, snap. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> All right. Just in time. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think that pretty much explains everything. You didn't really give a great detailed explanation of what happened to that poor man who's basically been giving his memories so he can stop, like, being sad for his dead I wife. Gave him two but gold. then the only memory you left him with, the one that he can't give away because it's not a secret, is that a bunch of people beat him up in his house. Well, he has two gold now, too, as well. That's a lot of money for him, I'm sure. 
uh, yeah, it, it actually uh, still is quite a bit. It's enough to buy him some food for a couple of weeks. So. It's maybe enough to buy a couple of masks. <laughs> there you go. Four, I think, to be precise, right? <laughs> so, uh, it is... Uh, nobody else had anything to... Or we are on the, the day before. We are on the 17th. I accidentally move the date forward, but I do remember you guys talking to uh, uh, High Arcanist was not the... was the, more towards the start of the 17th. Yes, I was going to ask for a date check because I was yes. lost on the date. Okay, so we're on the 17th. Okay. Yeah, if you do get lost, uh, for the most part, I have the calendar date highlighted now. Uh -huh. um, so if you hit the calendar link, you should be able to see what it is, unless I've you know managed to fuck it up. Um, but yeah, so you guys are... So you've had your meeting. Uh, you know that... Oh no, this is actually... I'm sorry, this is the 18th. Uh, when this happened, uh, because it was one of the first things. Sh Hold on, I'm trying to remember this. It's where I should have gone back and watched the last of the episode. <laughs> All right. Well, for right now, we'll we'll just check to make sure. Is there anything else you guys wanted to do on the 17th? No, because because I wasn't planning to go back to the warehouse because I. Because I, it had unfortunately been made extremely obvious that I try had tried to break in, right. So I knew that there was going to be either the whatever it, the items were moved, or uh, some sort of ambush would be set up. Okay. Yeah, I think we were about ready to uh, to call it a night. Actually. Yeah, I actually. So I think either way, we'll we'll cut to the 18th. It's not as. It's not crucially important, so uh, let's jump to the 18th. You know this is the day that the trade is planned to happen. And it is going to be happening on at up here. Uh, They're planning like a big festival up in the low income area. Um, you guys have learned that this is not typically a giant trade port. Uh, so there are not a lot of people, uh, that are, like, expecting this to happen. Usually most traffic comes in out of the east, uh, but this time it is coming out of the northwest. So, there is, let me get some nice, fun music going. I don't think I have set up for this. Festival music there. Um, so yeah, so is there anything you guys want to do before the trade is supposed to happen? I, I swear there was something we were planning to do in the morning here when we were trying to figure out what time they were going to be coming. Um, I think there was more... It may have been because we were worried that one of her wizards were was the one stealing the memories, but now that we're kind of have that information that he's actually like on our side and looking for as worried... I think we want to like pre-plan something, but if I remember correctly, did did he tell us that we had to do something about the mayor? Well, he said eventually, like he wants her removed from power. So, like I would assume we'd have to go to the military for that. We can't just uproot her like casually. Yeah, I don't think he gave us any like direct orders or anything. He did not. He doesn't have the right to give you direct orders. No, yeah, he just said like he wants us to work on like removing her from power. Okay. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so if you guys have no immediate plans for that, um, you guys can show up to the uh, um, to the festival. Uh, there are a very large number of people in attendance here. Uh, it looks like at least half the town is probably uh, roaming about. There's lots and lots of different food uh, available for you to walk up to and a number of like stalls that have been set up or temporary tables that people have in place. Uh, there are drinks available um, for a lower fee. Many of the taverns in town have brought out some of their, you know, some of their more uh, specific to their place drinks, their specialties uh, for people to try. Um, and people are kind of generally having a good time. Uh, where are you guys going to be located during all the 
of the turnover. The mayor is planned to be about here. Um, she is set up with a, like, uh, they have a, uh, a nice, like, array with a podium, uh, and a stand. Um, she is, like, standing at the podium, going back and forth, like, double-checking some things. She'll give a couple of speeches here and there about how great the town is, how great an opportunity this is, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can see the higher canist is kind of, like, floating in the background, not, uh, not far from her, uh, looking into a book, rather, with a kind of, uh, like, frustrated scowl on his face, um, and he periodically glances up at her, um, a little bit, uh, with a little bit of hostility in his eyes, and then goes back to looking at the book. Um, there's a few other people at the, uh, uh, on the stage up there while that is going on. The other wizard? Yeah, the 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 higher canis that the higher canis that is uh, uh, Iraklis. Yeah, that's the one we talked to, though, right? That is the one that you talked to. Yeah, I'm talking about the other one. The what? the second wizard. Yeah, you did mention that he had around. two. Yeah, one that one was like the major major Iraklis or whatever, and then there was another one that was like a more. I think that may have been misunderstood. There's okay. she yeah. she does only have one. Um, I think okay. somebody mentioned she something. Had, she had two people with her, though, right? Uh, she had another. Uh, she has another person that she uh, that she engages with, but that's her. That's the assistant you guys have seen a few times before. Okay. That goes back and forth. You guys don't know what her abilities are. Uh, and there are several guards stationed around her, as well. Of course. Um. So is there Damn, anything we were gonna attempt an assassination? <laughs> is there anything before the card arrives that you guys specifically want to want to do or want to discuss? Uh, I think we'd just discuss where we'd want to be when this happens. I would assume we'd want to be close by to where it's happening, like right up front, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, definitely somewhere where we can observe. Observe. Okay. Well, we we did tell her that we would be there for the trade, so I think we we shouldn't be like in the back or whatever. Like we should be like like up in front, like with her. Because if things were going to go, technically, if things were to go down, we would be there to fight. Is the idea? Okay. Do you want to? Do you guys want to meet with her beforehand, or just hang out near the stage? Oh uh, yeah, I mean we'll meet up with her real quick. Okay. Uh, when she, when she sees you coming towards her, she will actually wave you to, uh, to come up onto the stage with her. Um, the guards will, uh, will ask that, you know, you hand over your weapons before you come up. Mm-hmm. Do they take my spell component pouch? Uh, they will not take your spell component pouch. Uh. I have no weapons. I just have gauntlets on. Anybody objecting? I mean... Well, why are we, we're going up there just to talk to her? Yeah. I guess I'll hand over my weapons if I'm, we're going up there. Okay. Uh, the guard I'm takes... excited about it. The guard takes, like, this this handful of weapons and, like, looks around, kind of confused as to where he's supposed to put this. Um, and then actually just kind of, like, follows you over and another guard comes over to take his place. Um, she didn't tell me where to put these... So sloppy. Um, as you approach, she comes over as you guys approach, and with the guard following in tow. You are here still. Good. I was worried maybe you skipped town. How is everyone? Good. Yeah. You're excited. Right. Excited to uh, try some of these tavern specialties that are out here that I've seen. We have quite a number of great things out there. Uh, if you haven't tried them yet, um, there are a number of great drinks that, uh, that I would highly encourage. Have you had a Blade Barrier yet? I did. That is a great drink. I fully agree. One of, one of the best the, uh, the arrows have, uh, put together. Um, so, we'd like to actually have you up here on the stage when everybody arrives, if you would be willing. Yeah. With our weapons, I hope. Mm, yes, that, that can be arranged. Um, 
why don't you go ahead and give them back the weapons? And he'll, he'll like, walk around to each of you and try to hand you back the right weapon. I'm going to make sure I have the right weapon. <laughs> uh, if, if you're specifically taking your weapon, then you'll make sure you have the right weapon. Otherwise, he will probably hand you the wrong one. Yeah, I've got plenty of weapons. I need them all back. Um, so the way she begins to explain, so the this will, uh, as their journey comes in, we're going to have them come along the north road. Uh, they'll travel kind of around the back um, and enter into where we're at. We were thinking about uh, setting up sort of a parade of sorts, but we really don't want to take the chance of somebody knowing what's going to happen with the with the caravan, just in case there may be some people aren't particularly excited about meeting these people. So we have things, if you go far enough north, you'll notice that there are guards present not allowing people to pass into the uh, the area of the northern gate. We have the route fully secured, uh, and it should arrive here uh, at about a, we think we've got the timing just about right from what they said. It was somewhere about uh, second sun's noon, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, sometime in the afternoon, I believe. So, um, if you could, we plan to start the festivities. Uh, not we start. We plan to start the uh, the ceremonies a little before they arrive. Once we have confirmation that they get here. So, where can we find you to bring you up here uh, before that that begins? Uh. I was looking over at those food stalls over there. Excellent. We should be able to do that then. Um, take a, make sure you have have the two of them do it. They never they never take care of anything, uh, and have them fetch them when it's time. And you see the uh, the younger Dwarven girl writes uh, writes something down and then closes a little book and then puts it into her pocket. And that was the one that was um, at the in the middle of the. No, place, that right? that's the one that would come down to fetch you and then bring you back okay. up to the uh, up to her office. Okay. All right, so Maldro. Hello. Um, you are heading along with the caravan, and let's just see if anything bad happens along the way. Four elder dragons. <laughs> No, uh, four, four flying dire chuggets. What? I don't like all those adjectives, Tom. <laughs> yeah, make chuggets dire. They don't need to fly either. They teleport. Well, they fly because they're dire. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, Mal, the, the trip uh, heading down is pretty uneventful. Um, with a with a group this large, so you're stationed uh, next to a cart along with about. Uh, 20 or so orcs uh, and goblins intermixed, uh, as well as um, the man that you would know as uh, Agak. Uh, Agak is the big orc fighter uh, that was grappled by the scorpion. Yep. <clears throat> You're not going to try to run, are you? <clears throat> Where would I run? I don't know. In, in many of these cases, people try a lot of weird things when it becomes close to the moment. In a city, a lot of people think they can get lost. Running's just gotten me into trouble. I think I'll stand up for once. <clears throat> I wanted to offer you one more thing, but I didn't want to offer it in front of the rest of the council. If you make it there, and if they do accept you, and they do accept our offer, we will owe you a small debt. You're a bit of a bargaining tool for us. You're a way for the camp to know where will it, the camp, the military to understand that we're trying to be in line with their structure. We're worried that they think that because we're separatists, we're not willing to be a part of the system. 
But our reasons are different than that. Our reasons are that we feel we can do best with our own decisions. But we'll still follow the rules as need be. I I understand entirely, brother. This is, uh... I've seen everywhere I've been, there's been some power and some corrupt power. And if we don't have divisions, I don't know how we'll ever, ever get out of this mess. Excellent. Please share that with them, with your your feelings and your thoughts about us when you speak to them. I'll do my best, brother, but uh, I'm not much of a people person. I think honesty is often more important than just simply being a man of the people. Well, that I can do. Uh, and you arrive at the uh, at the palisade around the town. Um, there are a large number of guards stationed on the outside. All of them have uh, have either crossbows or bows ready as the uh, cart comes near, and they start to lower them um, as the uh, uh, as the cart approaches, and they start making their way out to uh, greet you. A couple of them turn though and run inside. Um, they exchange some uh, some pleasantries uh, with the uh, with Agak. Explain the route that they're that you're going to be taking the uh, north road. Up, up, up. They're actually going to take you a good ways behind the city to make sure there are no there's no risk of anyone any problems they want to make this as clean a run as possible so the guards that are here are also going to be uh going along with your guards to make sure that uh there is very likely nothing to happen this trade is very important to them they want to make sure that everyone is aware of it um so the cart will move along in is a chance okay um, let me jump back to the party real quick. All right. <laughs> so, um, let me have a perception from all of you, uh, while you are moving about things. All right. Uh, but while we were on the podium, I also wanted to, uh, check that. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for specific? Oh, you're just, right, what are you uh, checking for? Well, so I had seen the mayor, like, adjusting the podium. I wanted to make sure that like there wasn't any like i guess it'd be like traps or explosives or things like that okay that she uh, was setting up yeah no problem just to casually kill us all during the train <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i mean she was adjusting it for something oh like, man uh, there's there's absolutely oh actually actually you think this could be trapped you can't find any but you think there's a strong possibility of it something about the way the podium is put together seems a little bit suspicious all right. Hmm. Jack, what are you looking at? What do you see? Well, is the mayor up here or is it just us up here right now? What the the mayor's still wandering around there, but she doesn't seem to mind that you're looking at the podium right now. I'm going to quietly whisper, this podium seems a bit off. How so? It looks fine to me. Oh, good. At least I didn't fail. Uh, I don't see Maybe anything. Maybe it's underneath. Uh, am I able to like uh, kind of push the podium? Slightly? As you start pushing it, like it a little bit. As you start pushing it, guards rush over. And they're like, "Don't, don't!" She'll get really mad. She'll get really mad. She's very, very specific about where the podium has to be. Please don't move it. All right, I'll, uh, I'll leave it alone. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, I've got. What uh? Right. Oh, you're you're sense motiving on the guards. Yeah, I was getting sense motive on the guards. Uh, the guards seem genuinely panicked. Like. If yeah. that thing is moved by even a centimeter, that they will, uh, that it will be on them for not stopping people from moving it. Yep, and that that just makes me a hundred percent sure that there's uh something wrong with this thing now. <laughs> if it has to be in such an exact spot. 
um yeah am i able to like look underneath the stage maybe um is there like a way to like sneak under it or uh yeah you can uh, as the party's walking away you might you think you might be able to slip away from the group uh okay so go ahead and give me a stealth check Um, I think that's enough that, let's see, you can slip away from, yeah, you can, you can lose the group and you can kind of get into a position to, uh, to take a look at the stage. If nobody's specifically going to be looking for Jack, I think that's, that's pretty reasonable. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so once I, once I've slipped under the stage, yeah, I want to, I want to look around and see see if there's uh yeah traps or explosives set up down here or like a trap door or anything like that okay go ahead and give me a perception okay you do find there is a trap door like right around where the stage should be or right around where the where the podium is okay hmm and the uh, so then, I mean, I guess I'll check the ground. Like, is there, like, a pit trap or anything? You do notice that the ground, like, dips in, has dipped in a little more. Uh, and that it's not supposed to be dipped in this way. Like, normally the roadway that's here has, it's all stone. Uh, so normally there shouldn't be a dip, but it, like, dips quite a bit as if somebody just recently changed the landscape of this. And then you can see it kind of, there's, like, a path that leads <laughs> out from underneath the stage to, uh, towards the buildings. Okay. So so this is like this is loose dirt or it's an actual tunnel or This is this is like somebody has shaped the stone so that a person okay, would be so able to like, like drop in and then like walk down into. Okay. So so wait wait so it is so it's like a so it is like a tunnel? It and is like a tunnel. Yeah. Okay. Um Oh shit. Um, I mean, I, I guess I'm going to go in it and look. Okay. You, uh, uh, you go down through the tunnel and the tunnel leads out a little ways and then eventually pops back up in an alleyway. Okay. Uh, anyone in this alleyway? No. Uh, there are two guards posted at the end of the alley. Okay. And, uh. I'm going to go back through mm -hmm. and I'm going to disable the device so that the trap door won't work. Okay. Give me a disable device. All right. We, we need some, <laughs> some high rolls now. I've been rolling like shit. <coughs> okay. Uh, see so you're, uh, you're not quite able to, uh, to jam this. Uh, if you want to spend a lot more time, you think you might really be able to, um, but something about the way this is put together, it's a, it's a little harder than you expected. All right, yeah, I, I think that this is a huge thing, so yes, I'm going to spend okay. some more time. Yeah, give me another give me another check. Um, you can jam, you get it jammed a little bit, so it'll be harder to move at this point than it would be normally. All right. Uh, how much time have I spent? Uh, you're at about ten minutes at this point. It's a little so hard I'm... to work in these conditions, but you're able to kind of get get things uh, around a bit. All right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some more time. Okay. Trying to get it completely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you easily you like you uh you get at the uh, the hinges and you kind of like uh. Move, break stuff some stuff in there you get it like this there's a little mechanism up here that you can like get at and you stop it from being able to let the uh the trap door trigger um there is no way anything's getting through that trap door now okay cool uh i'm gonna try and sneak sneak back out okay yeah give me a stealth oh excellent yeah you're out easy okay, um and i'll uh let me, well, I'm going to jump back to the rest of the group. So can I have the rest of the group give me their perceptions? I already got two of them. 
I got the one from Cassius and the one from Arius. So I guess that leaves uh, uh, Sphinx. Oh no, Sphinx, you gave me one as well. So you guys will be kind of hanging about town. Um, eventually, uh, you'll have um, Jack make his way up to the rest of you. Jack, you can give me a real quick perception. But for this specific one, it's going to be at a minus five. Okay. Um, you manage, like, you're wandering around and you're trying to make your way back to the group. And you pass by an alleyway. And you overhear a group of people as they're, like, walking down the alley, kind of whispering to each other. And you kind of move over and lean in a little bit to hear what they're saying. Um, can't, we can't let these orcs get trade in here. Do you know what they bring? They're going to bring us all sorts of, like, garbage. They're wild orcs. They're not real orcs. They're going to poison us with their bad meat. They're going to try to take our women back to their camps. We're going to have nothing. We're going to get them. We're going to get them good. But I don't know. I mean, orcs really big. Yeah, orcs are big. They, f they don't, they're not, they don't have good eyes, though. Not unless it's dark out. We'll get them real easy. I promise. I got two guys up on the roof. And you and I sneaking around to the front and back. We'll be able to take them out. Real easy. All we got to do is get the biggest one. Aim for the biggest guy. That's all you got to do. Right. Okay. All right, so you that's what you over here. Uh did did I did I see what they look like or anything distinguishing features about them? It or is a just... little too dark down the alley that they're in to to get any uh to get a good look at them. You just with your check you managed to hear them as they were kind of like turning around the corner of an alley. And uh they they sounded like uh like human males or um give me a sense motive there. See if you can pick up uh, it's a little hard to, to determine uh, okay. race there. They def they didn't sound dwarvish, though. And they probably weren't gnomish. Okay. Um, but yeah, then you make your way back to the rest of the group. Unless, they, unless you want to try to tail them. Uh... Yeah, I mean, if I if I see that they're leaving the alley, I do, I do actually want to. Okay. Be where kind of, well, actually, they just said they're going to be sneaking about, so that would, yeah. wouldn't actually do anything. Yeah, so I'm not gonna. Okay. All right. Well, actually, actually though, yeah, I will st I I will <laughs> chill there and watch for a little bit, um, just because that way I might see them come out and see what they look like. Okay. Uh, and you would be important. You'll hear nothing more. With, uh, how long do you want to wait there? This is really. Um. Well, if if I don't hear anything, um, like if they've just stopped talking, um, then I mean I'd probably head off after like a minute or two. I wouldn't wait too long. Okay. So yeah, a couple minutes later, then you'll head back to the party. All right. Um. Are you relay? Are you gonna relay that to the party, or are you gonna keep that in photo yourself? Uh. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let the party know. Uh, well, it depends. It, it, like, uh, is there like a area I can bring the party to? Yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty of alleys like, you could you could slip down in. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna motion for the party to follow me. Follow him. Okay. You follow him. All right. Uh, yeah. So I've found out multiple things that you guys might need to be aware of. Uh, oh, hold on. Found out when? Weren't you with us this whole time? Oh, uh, man. no. I'm oh. gonna, but, uh, but he, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around the, this alley. I want to make sure that there's nobody. Yep, give me a perception. Trying to hear what we're doing. Yeah, nobody, nobody's in the area. Okay. Um, yeah, so, first off, uh, I overheard there's going to be an attack on the orcs. Uh, four guys total. Uh, two on the roof. Two sneaking around. And they're going to be going after the biggest orc. Uh, so, so I was thinking maybe... Bad. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we want to bring that to the to the mayor. Uh, 
kind of yeah. get kind of get some good more goodwill with uh with her yeah and Probably we have idea. yeah and we have business to make sure this trade goes well because we have that paper uh -huh. we got to bring back to the military to decide what we're doing with this villa that orc village yep so uh so i was thinking we might want to do that um and secondly more and more importantly uh so you know you know how i was saying there was something wrong with that podium right yeah all right so i snuck underneath the stage and there was a trap door with a tunnel leading to an alley with guards posted um so i think that the mayor was planning to make a quick escape through it i disabled it it will no longer work when did you have time to do all this that's what i want I, to know I, I work quick i work quick all right well okay um so the mayor herself might have some sort of plan well if we bring likely. this to her, her attention they'll pro they'll stop the plan anyway because she'll have to have have and if she doesn't send guards to the roofs or whatever, I think we need to take care of it. Yeah, so uh, so we should let the mayor know about this. Uh, these four people attacking the orcs plan. Um, obviously, we want to keep this other trapdoor situation to ourselves, but we might want to carefully watch anybody on that stage at that podium to see who was try going to try and go through that trapdoor. I suspect it's probably the mayor, but I don't know for sure. Do you know what alley it leads out to? Uh, it had two guards posted at it, so I couldn't uh, check. Got you. But if it is the mayor, she won't be trying to use that if we tell her we know that there's a, an assassination attempt. I don't there's think no she's point. part of the assassination attempt. I think she had some other plan. Oh, maybe. I think right. this is two separate plans. Okay. Okay. So you guys are making your way back to the uh, the stage? Yeah, have some food and Where stuff. The mirror is, I guess. All right, and remember, be quiet about that trap door. Yes. Okay. You uh, you get up to the stage. Uh, the mayor is surprised to see you back so soon. I did. Did I? Did somebody summon you? Uh, we overheard a plan. Uh, some people are forming to attack the orcs. Really? Uh, I figured you might wanna might wanna know. Uh, yeah, apparently there's gonna be uh two guys on the roof. Uh, two guys sneaking around planning to go after the biggest orc they uh they don't agree with uh trading with the orcs so they formed some assassination plan i was worried there might be people who opposed it but i didn't think there would be people that would go to this length uh do you know whereabouts they're going to be um well all i all i heard was that two were going to be on a uh nearby roof and that the two uh, and that there would be two more sneaking around Hmm. I think I know where. Um, there's a large patrol with them, so I don't think it'll be a successful attack, but I'd rather no one get attacked if we can avoid it. Um, I'll tell you what, can uh, you guys... Go ahead. I was just going to say, out of character, do we know, uh, have, has the caravan with the orcs entered the village yet, or we wouldn't know this yet? The caravan that you know of yet, there, the caravan has not entered. There would have been guards sent out to fetch you if you were, if the caravan had entered. But there are guards that are coming from the north gate that would have to come notify the mayor first before that would happen. So there would be some time delay before you would get notified that the guards have, or that the, the caravan has arrived. Perhaps uh, we should meet the caravan at the gates and offer extra protection, or would that... I was thinking oh, the opposite. Worried. If you can go up the back way, uh, I'll send a few guards with you. I don't want to cause a commotion. So if you can head out the back and trace up north around here uh, and just see where, go along the path and see if you notice anything as you travel it. Uh, so anything that's out of place or keep your eyes open. I'm sure it's humans that'll be the problem though behind this. I'm quite certain that uh, none of the dwarven people would issue with this. Yeah, it, it didn't sound like dwarves or gnomes, but I couldn't I couldn't tell exactly. All right, she uh, she uh, 
calls over two guards, uh, talks very softly to them as they come over, um, moves over to the the back, the, the giant uh, um, why are words leaving me again? Um, the, the curtains at the back and opens them up and kind of gives you access to, to leave out through the back. Um, you guys can wrap around the roads. Give me a perception as you're going. Yep. Has she pointed out this road to us? Like on our map or something? Uh, that's why she's sending the guards. The guards are going to take you along the route. Um, okay, because I'm just curious, does it seem like we're being put out of the way? Like, does it make sense the way she's telling us what her plan is to do? Uh, I'm just worried we're not there when things might go down. Give me an intel check. Okay, you can you can piece together. It sounds pretty plausible what she's having you do. She's having you go up the back route. If the if the cart is going to come around the north road and then wrap all the way around, if you guys go up up, up the back, one you won't be in the you, no one will see that like suddenly the military is moving entirely away from things. Right now, it just looks like your guests of honor getting to go back and do whatever. Um, so you, so she's got that covered. You're also moving backwards along the route that the cart's going to take. So you're definitely going to run into the cart at that point. And if something is supposed to be on its way and something's going to intercept it somewhere along the way, then you'd be able to, you would potentially be able to catch that before the cart hits it. All right. So yeah, I think I'd be looking at the rooftop, see if I see anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got a 27. Yeah, uh, so you catch it right about here. There is on top of a on top of roof. You can see a hint of of movement, um, something very distinctly wooden that has like a little sheen of metal off, of, like a little like flash of metal off of it. Um, and you can see coming up the road is the cart. Okay. Uh, Basically, right about here. But, yeah. but I did not see enough to be able to actually shoot shoot an arrow at the dude, right? You did not see enough to be able to shoot an arrow. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll whisper to the party, that's the building right there. I saw a guy on the roof. Um, you still have the, the military escort with us, right? You still have the guards escorting you, yeah. We don't want to panic whoever's on the roof. We want to catch them, right? Maybe, can we get closer without them being alerted to us? Uh, I can try and sneak over. Yeah. You can try that. Give me a stealth and then a climb check. And there and there's gonna be two guys sneaking, so. Alright. A stealth we'll and a climb, you said? A stealth and a climb check. I don't think I'm gonna be able to climb. But uh It's fifteen well, actually, to get up there. I do have uh what is it? Uh doesn't endurance do something with climb? Let me look. It's I think for long term climbing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's mainly like swim and stuff. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh... Okay, excellent. Ooh. So you managed to hoist yourself up onto the uh, the roof of this building, uh, grabbing a hold, pulling yourself up there, and then you get yourself up to the top, and the um, the figure does not... the the You can see the person like laying there with a the crossbow, uh, waiting for something to move into range. Okay, from where I am, am I able to shoot at him with a bow? Um, or yeah, I'll go ahead and give you that. He's uh, he's okay. definitely not able to see you at this point. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my my uh, precise shot with. Deadly aim. Okay. Am I? I'm within thirty feet. I assume. Oh, right? absolutely. So point yep. blank shot. Also. Okay. So that will be another attack and damage. So let me adjust these temporary modifiers here. Once he makes his shot, will that be enough like noise to signal us or no? Oh yeah, you'll be able. You sh you'll easily be able to hear the shot. Okay. Or screams in pain. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even gonna mention that part of it, but. Oof. I was just gonna make that noise. <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, so you like plant an arrow like clean in his back and he howls in pain um, that slowly starts to go down. Uh, 
Mal, Mal, you hear in the distance, as does the rest of the uh, um, the caravan, a scream coming from up ahead. Is that normal for around here? The uh, the guards look over and they they shake their head. Uh, they like motion to uh, to halt the cart. Um, you see, uh, Agak takes a step forward. You wanna? Try to help out if we can. Lead the way, brother. All right, the two of you go running forward. Um, I need everybody to give me initiative at this point. All right, and there's some sort of new macro you said. What do I do? Uh, yeah, if you click on, I'm going to move you to... I don't have one for the city built up. Um, it's not going to be right. It puts you on the mostly blank now, and I'll build out the map. All right, so... You are going to be running that a little bit. Uh, you're going to be running in from here. The rest of the party is going to be hereabouts. A little further over, down. Uh, so we've got the building, which is here. And so Jack, you are atop that building. All right, so what, what are we doing for this initiative macro, though? Uh, click on your character, and there should be a button right next to the pointer that says I and IT. You gotta wait for turn order thing to come up first, though, I guess. Oh, really? Uh, no, it should... I just... I didn't pop up oh, the turn order. Oh, no, right, you just didn't have it visible. There we yeah. go. <laughs> okay, may, may, am I not able to click on my character for some reason? Oh, yeah. uh... You gotta, be, you gotta have the right selector, yeah. Yeah. Always annoying. Uh, there's another big building right here. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Another big building right here. And what, what's the initiative button? Uh, INIT should be right next to the mouse pointer. Should be like a little rectangle that says INIT. Up in the top left. Yeah. Top left. Not like your literal cursor. Like... Yeah, we're the we're the list of we're the list of what the oh, buttons you have are. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought you said click my dude, and then there was going to be a button on there. Okay. No, sorry. Oh, you're looking at your token. Yeah. Right, let me get the thugs out. Wonderful thug life. <laughs> uh. figure there it is uh, that guy up here and then yeah all right so um have it roll some initiative here That's right, that doesn't trigger an initiative roll. Add. I really? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh wait, yes. Yes, I did. I, I did rouge. All right. Well, that's red one. Got it. Were All they right. attacked by red people? Yes. Well, he he he's the he's rouge from that massive arrow he took. 
All right, so Jack, you're going to lead us off. Uh, give me a perception in where you're at. Okay, you do not see where the other one is. But you know there's supposed to be two on the roof. All right, so I mean, I'm just going to attack this dude. No, you can't, you can't see this. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have put him on the map. He's not. You can't actually see this guy. Or you mean the guy that's in front of you? Yeah, the guy that's in front of me. Okay, I was gotcha. gonna attack again. Okay. Go for it. Yep. Uh, same everything. Same feet. So yada yada. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think he's Jack a little dead. Just a little dead. He's just a little dead. All right. Um. Not even a challenge. Uh, Cassius, give me a perception. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. Uh, that you see right now, nothing's going on. I'm going to um, pull my crossbow. Okay. And then kind of try to keep an eye out. Okay. Uh, Mal, you're up. Uh, I'm out. Give I'll defer my initiative to wherever Agak is. Okay. Uh, you can, well, first of all, go ahead and give me a perception. Since we're starting your initiative off. <clears throat> They're invisible. My lights. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> My lights just said fuck you. It wasn't uh, me, I swear. And you, you turned off everything wrong. else. Yes. Alright, um. Alright, so you're deferring down to Agak, who is on 8. No, I'm not letting me update. Come on. Uh, then that'll take us to Arius. Uh, perception check or? Yes. Um, yeah, you still don't see anything. But I heard the shouts from the roof. Oh yeah, you uh, you heard the shouts. You can actually see like a cross. I'm sorry, you can see a crossbow like kind of fall over the edge of the roof. Okay, I will uh, tell the guards to look in the crowd for the two people sneaking. Okay. Like, on the ground. The uh, the guards are already looking about. So. And I'll just ready. Uh, actually, I'll cast uh, shock shield on myself. Okay. Uh, that'll take us to. Why did that turn into a 34? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I will move forward the edge, and it will try to take a shot at... Which way would it go? Actually, let me give it a perception. Uh, okay. So yeah, it'll take a shot at you, Sphinx. Excuse me. Okay. Six. Does a twenty-five hit? Oh, well, maybe a little. Or one whole point of damage. Look at that. <laughs> oh gosh. Can you I'm feel dead, the burn? Rip me. Yep. Negative con. Negative con. Permanent death right there. <laughs> All right, and Sphinx, it's on you. You can now very clearly see the, the thing that shot you from the rooftop. How high up? Uh, it is about 20 feet up. Dang it. Five feet too high. You can always move. I can't move up five feet. You can five foot step. You can move forward any number of feet. I can't move up into the air. Oh. You have 15 foot range on something? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, burning hands. It's cool. Just shoot it up in the air. It always works out. <laughs> Actually, Love wait, I do have a cross. Okay. Probably get a little closer and then fire my crossbow at him. Yep. Ooh, that is a hit. Or so I return a whole one more damage. Nothing points of damage. Double the damage of the last. last <laughs> <hour>. <laughs> it 
his bar to show. Uh, just refuses to. Okay, well, too bad. <laughs> oh, now I need to do this, I think. Will that do it? Yeah, there you go. Let's go. All right, uh, then that's Agak and Maldro. Uh, or Agak is going to give me a perception. Excellent. Um, Mal or Agak turns to you, Mal, and points at the uh, the door next to them, and you can see like uh, a couple of figures like have the door uh, creep peeked open just a little bit with uh, with crossbows coming out from uh, behind it, pointed out from behind it. Oh, okay. You want to take him, or you want who's who's on lead? Um, if you pull the door, I can try and knock him out. Sounds good. Uh, he moves in, and he will open the door, uh, and you can see the two guys inside. So in response to him opening the door, I'm gonna try and color spray into the room. Awesome. Uh, you gonna move? Cause the door is here, so I'm gonna yep. put him on that. Yep. I'll essentially move. So wherever I just get a good vantage point. Okay. It's like very good. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> and that's will save, correct? Or is it reflex? Or not reflex? Uh, I'll just port. hit the button. Yeah. I believe it's will. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> them they both Ooh. save Oops, i believe that just does nothing then yeah will in the gates yep and <clears throat> so that's all all right um that'll take us to jack uh all jack right, you can see the one on the roof at this point uh you don't know about the two that have come out the door yet all right uh perfect uh yeah is he within 30 feet uh, he's 20 feet up, so you'd have to be, like, here or here to be within 30 feet. And that's actually going to give him cover if you're there. Because the building's, you're not going to have clean line of sight to him. There's going to be part of his body blocked by the building. Oh, wait, so he's on a completely different building? Yeah, he's on the, he's on a different building over there. Okay, and so I can't see him from this building? You can see him from where you're at, so you still have line of sight to him. Uh, but okay, if you were to move it. right to be next to him, it would you would not get your you'd, he'd get cover. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll just uh, shoot at him from here and not not worry about my point blank. Okay. I'll just uh, readjust my modifiers real quick. Oh, you can just roll it. And we can just take away from it. It's fine. Well, it's, it's on the sheet itself, so I've already adjusted them. Okay. Because it's temporary attack and temporary range damage is all I got to change the numbers in. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is a solid hit. Uh, all right. That's my turn. Um, That will take us back to Cassius. Cool. I'm going to... 10, 15, 20... Move right here. Mm-hmm. And um, attempt to put an arrow in this guy, or a bolt in this guy, rather. All right. Nice. That is another hit uh, for good damage. Uh, there is a large amount of blood uh, pouring down the side of the building at this point, and he's kind of, like, hunched over, kind of trying to keep his balance on the edge of the building. Uh, Arius. So when you say that, that means he's still alive, right? He's he is still, still yeah, he's still conscious. Struggling, but still conscious. Uh, I will miss. Uh, do I hear any commotion anywhere else? Because I'll move if I do. Because uh, I'd be, I'm ta I don't know if the guards had a turn or whatever, but they were with us. But I wanted them to like look for the guys that were supposed to be on the, the ground. Give me, give me a perception, actually. All right, your perceptions are the best. <laughs> By the way, you want to know why you missed? There's why you missed. 
Oh, I got 45 feet on my jolt. And he's up 20 feet. Oh, I thought he was. Oh, he's up 20 feet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would I, I thought this was me. It's okay. Uh, so this rogue is going to uh, start moving Jump. back. And uh, you can. He drops the crossbow over the edge and starts taking a few steps back. Uh, I surrender. Uh, don't kill me. Um, the other two rogues are going to uh, drop their crossbows uh, and step in. Drawing a dagger as they move in. Uh, and attack. A uh, one on Mal and one on Agak. Uh, first one on Mal, does a 10 hit? No. Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, Ooh, three on Agak. So that is a totally <laughs> dead round. Uh, Sphinx. So basically I walked in the door, blasted color spray, just went totally in the wrong direction. <laughs> they walk up and stab daggers, just totally over our head. <laughs> yep. We basically just have a monkey fight going on over here. Wow, there's Random. like two people dead already on the Random other Random bolts of lightning <laughs> hitting the side of a building. Yeah. <laughs> no one's hitting each other. Except our death. Just, are the, working on it. <laughs> are the initiatives going crazy for everybody else as well? Uh, My Jax has been consistent this whole time. Yeah, mine has been fine, but I've seen some other ones being crazy. One's like 34 or something. Yeah, Agax suddenly switched to 16 from an 8. So. Well, his his order didn't change, so it's it's yeah. okay. I don't uh, I don't know. They must be re-rolling every round though, for some reason. But it, it, again, it doesn't matter so long as we uh don't blow up the chart. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's go to Sphinx then. All right. So I have no idea what's going on. Uh, give me a perception to see if you can hear something. But so far, there's not really been a lot of commotion. What? I don't um, roll that good on perception checks. You roll that good, but that's still not enough to hear like the quiet, uh, muffled sounds of people not hitting anybody. <laughs> hey, I hit that guy on the roof, so did Tom. I meant around uh, the corner. Oh yeah, the other guy's not. The guy on the roof asked for like surrender, right? Like, yes, surrender. he asked for surrender. All right, so Sphinx, what do you want to do from here? I'd probably ask the others to see if they've heard anything. Okay. Nope. nope. All right. Then. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Agak and Mal. Uh, Mal is gonna take his attack and hit. Or... Hey, I'm Mal. He's Agak. I'm sorry, Agak. Stop stereotyping <laughs> us orcs. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, for... Stupid humans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for 18. Holy. <laughs> yeah, he's a little good. Yeah. Just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> That's why I'm sticking by him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and Mal, what do you want to do here? Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'll five foot step over there. And oh, uh, I'll... real quick. I actually almost forgot something. Sphinx, I need you to give me a fort save. Fun. Oh, poisoned arrows. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Fun. Um, I need you to take two points of temporary con damage. All right, carry on. And that was a D100 he rolled, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> they have that special oh. D100 poison. So I'll five foot step there, and I'll just do a full attack spell combat. Okay. Um, I'll start with my bite. Yep. So just go for the guy's neck or whatever the fuck he's exposed on. Uh, ten. And that's a miss. So that whiffs, and then I will try and swing my scimitar at him. And I will uh, burn an arcane point to make my sword glow. Just, you know, the give it plus one or whatever. Yep. 
Oh, Ooh. shit. Uh, yeah, he's gone. You, uh, you make it glow, and you basically, like, slice him in half. Uh... Agak, uh, Agak would clap if he, uh, if he wasn't in the middle of combat. Uh, good job! You did what I couldn't. <laughs> I mean, the guy's, like, his guy's pretty bloody, too. Um, I don't even think I have a spell I can hit now with, so actually, I'm just done. Okay. Uh, Jack, back to you. Uh, am I able to see the, the dude on you the other can, roof? You can, you can see the okay. dude on the other roof. Shooting him with uh, with all my same. Things. Okay, go for it. Uh, that's a hit, and he is down and dead actually. All right, Cassius. All right. Uh, well, I was gonna tell you to keep an eye on him, but uh, oh, that shit. works too. I forgot. I have favored enemy humans, so I should have been getting even more damage and attacks this yeah, whole time. Yeah, that is true. Uh, so he took two more, so he's extra dead. As is the other one that you already extra deaded. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move uh, around the corner. Uh, you need to you need to give me a perception. It's not a very high one for okay. you because you're close to the corner, but you technically didn't have line of sight. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, carry on. Yeah, um... Something tells me that he wasn't uh, standing at that corner to aim backwards into the town. <laughs> um... So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hope I don't fuck this up too bad. Nice. Okay, cool. That is a hit. I just uh, didn't want to ha hit either of them, and then that caused a whole bunch of problems. No, this uh, this guy is bleeding quite heavily already. Like there is a lot of blood in front of him, and then you land a you land a bolt in his back, and he kind of like arches back and lets out a howl in pain as he like glances backwards to see you, but like. Uh, quickly glances back, uh, m much more worried that he's about to take another cut across the, the chest. Uh, Arius. Uh, uh, you don't really need a perception at this point. You saw Cassius shoot a uh, fire shot uh, okay. down that way. Would I be able to know if it's quicker to, like, climb the building and get, like, because I want to see what's going on over there? Do you have a climb speed? Uh, climb speed... Where do I see this? Like, you would it would be it would be a movement rate. Right? You you don't have a climb speed. Uh so it would, it would be five speed. Yeah, you no, would no it would be easier to move around. It's faster to move around? Yes. <laughs> it is a it's twenty feet tall, so you'd have to go twenty feet up and then twenty right, feet so up. I guess I can get here. So I will turn the corner and get around here, I guess. Okay. And do I see this guy's down and bloody, but he's not dead? Yes. Uh I will just shout uh, leave him alive. We need to question him. That's my turn. Uh, oh, he, uh... Oh! Look at that initiative. <laughs> just keeps, like, increasing. Yeah, he keeps increasing. <laughs> He's gonna explode. That's how I'm gonna die. Just initiative out of bounds. He turns and, uh, and looks at you, listening to what you said. And he takes his dagger and he stabs himself in the stomach with God it. God damn it. Can I, like. Uh, do it? I get, like, a reaction to try and stop a self coup de gras? Um. <laughs> you you know, attack I'll, of opportunity. I'll give you an attack, attack of opportunity. <laughs> attack that dagger. Yeah, maybe you can non lethal damage knock him out. Attack of opportunity. Sunder his weapon. 15. Uh, that is a hit. Alright, so I'm just swinging at his dagger. Okay. Um, so you, uh, you slash out, uh, with your scimitar, and you do still end up cutting across him. Um, it's still a hit, uh, unless you want to take the 11, which you'd get for dealing non-lethal. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to kill him. Okay. If he's so, already pretty bloody, I would be, I'd have to take the 11. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be a miss then, and he's going to manage okay. to get the, uh, I'll give, uh, I'll give Agak a chance. Uh, Agak, grab him! Uh, that is going to be a miss there, too. Damn it. Damn. Uh, yeah, so he plunges it. Let's see how his fort save goes. Uh, he fails his fort. He takes quite a bit of con damage. 
Uh, Jack, why are you sniping people that are surrendering, man? You need to question people. Hey, look how far I was. I didn't hear nothing. Well, I didn't. <laughs> that will take us out of combat, though. Yeah, I was going to tell you to keep an eye on him, but then he uh, got shot mysteriously from the other rooftop. Oh, well, it's looting time, then. <laughs> These guys might actually have loot to fucking uh... take. Agak is going to check to see if this guy is dead. I'm going to grab a crossbow bolt out of him. Though he's not particularly great at that. Uh, Agak says he doesn't know how he doesn't know how to tell. There's just too much blood. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Agak can I try to make a, like a, a guy check like... on him? Uh, you can try to make a heal check, yeah. Uh, let's let's keep this in initiative order, though, real quick. Uh, so okay. let me have you back up. Uh, spin, uh, Sphinx, it is your initiative. Um, I'm just gonna run over. Okay. How, How much movement do you I got? Know. What races is everyone in this party? Uh, we'll get to descriptions in just a sec. I wanna... Well, I'm just like, if you're, like, running up to me, I've never seen you before, I might <laughs> actually, like, literally attack you. Well, you did hear me say, uh, keep him alive, we need to question him, so I would think you would assume people behind me are with me. That's true. You're kosher because I heard you say that, so I know <laughs> that at least... Well, are you guys in military uniforms? They um, are, even... they're all wearing, uh, I think everybody's got their, um, their leather on, their leather's on, right? Yeah, it was I know. the, uh, military studded leather, yeah. Okay. I don't, I've so, got yeah. high armor have... on. Aside from the two people that kind of look spellcaster-ish, uh. Right. How far, how far can I go? Okay, so, so You've you got 60 so feet of like... movement. <laughs> My character's a little um... bit paranoid of humans. <laughs> 50, 55, and not quite enough. Yeah. Um, all right, so then that'll take us to Agak did his thing. Uh, Mal. Um, did he say that he thinks the guy's dead, or he just says he can't tell? He just says he can't tell. He can't find a place to tell because there's too much blood everywhere. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't really do much either. I mean, I might, like, just do, like, a detect magic sweep just to see if there's, like, anything, like, on this guy around him yeah. that, like, we need to be aware of. Uh, good That's plan. Really... Uh, you activate detect magic, um, and you can actually see that the uh, the dagger that this guy is holding is magical. Oh, shit. But is there anything in the room or anything behind him? Uh, you... It's really hard to tell in there. Uh, nothing that you can see within your current range of detect magic is magical inside of the room. Can I... So can I just go in the room and scan the room that they were hiding in with detect yeah, magic? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. you, uh, you can go ahead and scan through that room. I'll give you some details on that in just a little bit. Yep. Uh, that'll take us to Jack. Uh, I'm going to loot the dude that's in front of me on this roof. All right. Um... Let me pull up this party loot text document too. Yep. Quick. Party loot. That doesn't sound <laughs> like something Jack would say to Treasury's finding with nobody watching. Well, it's it's still going on that sheet for stuff I found. Okay. Um. It isn't necessarily the. So this guy, this guy has a dagger, uh, and a crossbow that is now on the ground, and a potion on him, but no money. The crossbow is on the ground, not up here on the roof. With yeah, him. the the crossbow dropped out of his hands when you uh, when you shot him because he was like he had the crossbow okay. draped over the edge, and then you like shot in the back so much that his spine just like erupted. Um. So the, the crossbow went falling. There's a dagger and a potion. Okay. So I wrote the dagger and potion down. Then. Okay. Well, actually, okay, so I would assume Luton is going to take my whole turn, right? Yeah, that's that's going to be your turn. Uh, that's going to take us to Cassius. All right, I'm going to strafe and kind of keep my bow on the guy um just in case okay and that's it all right arius am i able to charge and heal 
check? Use uh, you check? cannot charge heal check. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and I can't save this guy. Uh, what is Pathfinder 1E doing with their lives? <laughs> well, I can make like a full move, but then I can't make it a standard action, right? Yeah, you will not be able to take a standard action at that point. Well, well you can move through uh, Sphinx. Yeah, that's more than 30 feet. So yeah, I guess still... I'll just move up to him and get ready to stabilize him next round, I guess. Okay. Um, that'll post it. Let's see how he does. Okay. Uh, Sphinx. I am going to, uh... Where is that? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay. Up to him also. Are you going... What are you gonna do? Can I do a heal check on him? You can. You can do a heal check or you can... You could cure him. Oh, yeah. I am going Ooh. to... Actually, I'm gonna try and cure him. Okay. Uh, hold on. I, the part of why I brought this up, we'll, we'll let this work, but for the record... Uh, I made some changes to your sheet that you might want to take a look at real quick that I did not get a chance to tell you about. Um, on your spells, uh, I added the healing hex down at the bottom. That is the one that won't take spell points to use. Um, uh... So, But you can only use it once per person. Uh, and it actually rolls up a little different. Yeah, once per person per day. Okay. Mm. Um, but that's fine. Uh, you can heal him for five. Uh, that will stop the bleed, or for ten. I'm sorry. That will stop the bleeding. Um, yeah, and so we can come out of initiative here. Mal, you are roaming about this building looking for magical stuff. Um, this is. Let me look. At... Make sure, I've got the right. Yeah. Um, so this is Whoa. as you're going about the building. This building seems to be some kind of, like, food storage building. <laughs> okay. Ooh, all sorts of good berries. But there's no magic inside. There's a lot of, like, crates of food, of, you know, uh, various foods, uh, some bottles of stuff on, on the wall. Okay. So nothing by where, like, the guards were standing. They didn't have any, like, sort of traps or anything. No. Okay. That's all I'd be looking for. I, I'm not really okay. interested in food. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so let us take a short break here real quick, and then everybody can get acquainted. Take about five minutes if that's all right with everybody. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah, nobody forget we got a, more corpses to loot.